All right, folks, welcome back to Everyone Loves Pirates. And we are playing Bobo, the beautiful bearded dancing bear man who dances beautifully. We already said beautiful, but that's part of our name. And we uh, we need to drink our ice. So let's um, hand the right things, but Windows not. Okay, so we have our water skin. And let's heat it at the campfire, and then let's drink our water, and we'll eat uh, the rest of our... You know, let's eat some of this boar meat. It's heavy, and we're holding on to it. Okay. And let's just continue on. What is this? Is this snow? It is snow. Okay, so with snow, we actually could... Um... Cat water skin. Can we put snow in the water skin? Yeah. Yeah. And now we have snow three. I wonder if we can grab more. We probably can't. Snow. <laughs> yeah, he's the wrong thing. At least we have snow in our hand now. We can throw snow. That's that would be interesting. Uh, let's see if the water skin will hold more snow than water. It's already full. Okay. We could always just put a bunch of snow in our backpack, right? M. So now our backpack has 21 snow in it. And we're not going any slower. So we can always heat that up if we'd like to. Uh, just real quick, let's uh, let's throw the snow that's in our hand. We cannot. Hmm. Let's drop horizontally. Nope. Did it already melt? Are we no longer holding snow in our hand? Apparently. So if we grab snow... Yes, we can throw it as really quickly. Let's throw it at this tree. And perhaps it hit, and perhaps it did not. <laughs> I wonder if that would be considered aggressive if we threw snow at somebody we ran across. Okay. Ah, we're still near the river. One of these days, Alice, I'm going to hit D instead of escape. Hey, look, more buzzards. And we're not sneaking, are we? There we go. That one saw me. This one didn't, though. Should we just pick a buzzard out of the air? It's a fat buzzard. I'm feeling a little bloodlusty. Let's look at uh, what we got going on here. We haven't argued lately. Um, we need to craft some stuff. We're undistracted, but we're unfocused because we haven't argued, uh, which is going to be kind of a pain. Uh, I guess we could just scream at a buzzard. Let's bypass the greeting. And I don't know actually how to argue. Hmm. We could brag about our violent acts. I've taken down one wild boar while stalking the forest of volcanoes. And now I will take down you. Yeah. We'll at least start one. And, um... Let's see if we can just... Yeah, let's go for the neck immediately. Let's just see what we can do. So we want to do a precise attack. And I would say... Um, maybe heavy as well. Oh, no, we can't do both of those. But it doesn't know we're there yet, so let's uh, hopefully we'll be able to get it. It's tricky. Oh, wow. <laughs> we bit its head off. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, well, let's uh, move there and see if we can find its mutilated corpse and its head. Is its head hanging around anywhere? Where did the head go? Some snow. It went off in an arc, it said. Anyways, let's butcher this real quick while we're here. Butcher. Oh, you can't butcher this. It's too small, I guess. That's a shame because I wanted to uh, make something out of a buzzer bone. That was actually the main reason why I was doing that. Well, uh, there's really no purpose if we can't even eat its meat. Okay, well, let's, uh, now that there's more light, or at least it will be soon, let's fast travel. There we go. 
All right, now we can see. So let's see what's uh, north of here. And it's cloudy, apparently. Yep. Hope you guys, uh, hope this is helping anyone who hasn't played the game before or isn't very knowledgeable about the game to know, um, oh, that's the ocean. Maybe you can learn by just watching. I'm using the number pad because that allows me to move diagonally. And uh, I just, I used to play computer games with the number pad, so. I was very blessed to have had many opportunities to play with and just experience early technology. I feel kind of a little sorry every now and then for kids these days to just kind of have all this amazing technology. Ooh, emus, I'm assuming. They look like ostriches, but it said E, so. Just, technology is just so amazing nowadays. I think it's hard to appreciate it without knowing where, you know, what led up to it. But, uh, yeah. Well, yelling at a buzzard about uh, what we've done doesn't really help with arguing. Uh, what was the uh, untroubled, untroubled, make Mary admire art? Uh, so we need to uh, kill an emu, I think. So we get another difficult strike this time on the head, but very square. So let's give that a shot. And we're going to do another precise attack. And we will bite again. Oh, she jumped away. Well, he's still next to me, though. That was a poor choice of where to jump. Let's uh, let's do a quick bite this time. Latch on firmly. Excellent, excellent. And let's wrestle using our teeth and just shake it around. Because that's what we like to do. An artery in the neck has been opened by the attack. And we tore apart its muscle as well. And it cannot break the grip of our teeth. It tried. So we will continue to shake it all about. There we go, we open up another artery, it gives into pain. Um, that's actually one of the things I was wondering about. So now as we see, we can do anything we want to it because it's it's like unconscious, right? Um, will it even say that it's unconscious? Yeah, so it says up here that it's unconscious. It's in heavy pain or heavy bleeding, extreme pain. Its neck is basically just gushing blood. Uh, if something ever goes uh, completely dark, like a dark gray, that means it's missing. Uh, at least that's the way it used to be. So one of the things I was kind of curious about was if we move on top of this guy. Oh, no, because we attack him. Okay. I wonder if we moved... Is he on the ground? He probably is on the ground. He's regaining balance, though. So we can't charge because he's on the ground. But if we moved here and then jumped on top of him. Would you like to take an action? Do not alter actions, hang from, oh, so we could jump and grab onto the bush, the tree above us? That's kind of cool. Uh, no, let's just slam into him. Okay, that was kind of cool. Uh, what did that do to him though, anything? He's in flight. Oh, well, let's continue moving towards him then. We want to find him when he finally stops. In fact, if we did that again, we push, slam him into that tree. Oh, oh, there he goes. Okay. I was afraid that uh, he went around the tree a little bit. How hurt is he now? Oh yeah, actually he's, uh... oh wow. So that second one, especially probably when he bounced off the tree, his stomach, his gizzard, his upper spine, and his ribs are basically like probably poking out of him. He's on the ground, he's winded, he's unconscious. Uh, and I think it's about time just to, to finish the poor guy off. Uh, we could just kind of keep running into him, but then, you know, that doesn't really seem to do anything. We end up wrestling him a lot. We could look into our combat preferences, but I don't think there's anything about, yeah, wrestling. So let's just do a real attack on him. Um, what do you think, throat? I'll just scratch the throat out. 
and then um, I don't know, let's bite the throat as well. Bites are always good, and we should pro probably should be doing some some crazy heavy attacks to try to just kill him off as quickly as possible. And it's dead. Excellent. Now, can we butcher him? <laughs> yes, we can. Uh, where's our rock? Did we lose our sharp shirt? All the emus are crazy about a sharp shirt dressed bear. I don't know. Yeah, I don't see it. Huh. I guess we threw it or dropped it or... Oh, no, there it is. It's P. It's in our backpack. Maybe that's the problem. Remove um, sharp shirt. Now can we butcher? Yeah. I didn't think we had to hold on to it, but maybe we did. I can't, couldn't remember. All right. Well, unfortunately, it's mangled bone. Well, let's grab his heart. Let's grab... Um, let's grab the skin. What did it say? Uh, we put it in the backpack. Okay. I want to make sure we didn't like run out of room in the backpack. F. I, look, I hit the wrong thing. Okay. Let's get some of the bone, even though it's mangled. We're not overburdened yet. Let's grab the meat. Oh, good. We don't have to get all of it. Let's grab 10. We still are not overburdened. Our sneaking... I'm just looking at how fast we can sneak. If that goes down under one, then we're holding too much. Emu fat laced with water. Take one of those. Oops. Never had emu fat. Well, I guess I maybe have. I've eaten emu once when I was in Australia. I'm sure there was some fat in it, but I've never had pure emu fat. I have had goose fat and duck fat, and it's just delicious. Saute up some potatoes. Okay, so now that we have all that stuff... Actually, I didn't even need to grab that, did I? Because I actually wanted to um, drop... Oh, okay, let's... Um, it didn't have to be in our inventory. Let's eat that heart real quick that's in our hand. Let's drop the, um, the bone. And I was wondering if we could eat the emu fat if we're just going to lick it. We licked it. Okay. Well, let's drop the fat as well. I wonder if the skin is worth anything, if I can maybe tan with it or something. Um, let's look at, uh, real quick. So the only thing we can create still is carving bone. And we can make all sorts of uh, interesting things, like we already have a scepter. Uh, we can make an amulet, bracelet, crown. We, uh, I think we deserve a crown. Apparently, this doesn't take any time. Where's our emu crown? I don't see it. Is it on the ground? Was it in our hand? Nope. Uh, we can get emu blood? <laughs> And it just went through our fingers, I'm guessing, because I don't see it in our hand anymore. No, seriously, what happened to the the crown? We're not wearing it, are we? Okay, let's try that again. Uh, X, create, don't, ah. Carve bone, carve a crown. I didn't choose the thing. Got it. There it is. It's in our hand. It's just a normal emu crown. But good enough. Let's wear it. And I think that's good enough for now. I'm easily entertained, if you couldn't tell. That's interesting colored water. It's a brook. 
Wait, 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 wait. We zoomed in. That means there's something here. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> I found a layer. I don't know why I'm taunting you. Okay. So our layer is north of here, I'm guessing, because it's green. Our crown is to the southeast. Oh, definitely want to sneak near a layer. And I'm going to be looking out for tracks, so it's raining, so I'm assuming that means the tracks will uh, north by northeast. Okay, let's continue to go east a little bit. North by northeast. What was down here? Northeast is a D. What's a D? Is there a dingo or something? What's a capital D? I should have played more in ASCII mode because now I, I would know things. Like that. See, now it's north by northwest, but down here, what does that mean? Who are these people? Okay. I'm going to go northeast a little bit because I'm really curious what this D thing is. What was visible? East of here is something. Change from a D. Is it a track? Am I seeing a track? That is clearly my track. That isn't, though. Signs lead east. Okay, so that was my tracking thing. There's just some very small little signs of something, which is probably what lives in the lair. Oh, now there's a different thing to the north. And I lost it. Nope. I know what a lair is, and I know where it is. But this is new. Of course. Aha! I don't think those were it. <laughs> so I think all we have here is like parrots or something. Giant peach face lovebird, which wouldn't be D. All right, well, maybe someone can help me out in the comments and let me know what that was, but for now, I think it was just telling me there was tracks up here because it's telling me how many tracks were visible and then those were popping up. And I think they'll only pop up when it's not my tracks. Um, but it did seem to be a pretty old track. So let's see if we can't get back to this layer. We may need to follow them later to figure out what lives in the lair. We went pretty far north. There's something up there. What is that? Gigantic groundhog. Curiouser and curiouser. Aha, we found it. There's a track way down there or something. So we're still sneaking. We are thirsty. Let's drink a little water. Uh, let's drink the water that's in our backpack. All the tracks are mine, I guess, until that window pops up. We're getting close. We're getting close. Is it there? And what is it? It's a giant something. Muscular giant dingo. I think we can take a singular muscular giant dingo. We are focused. We are not thirsty. Uh, perhaps we should quickly eat some giant slug heart for energy. Now, the nice thing is he just happens to be looking at the wall. So we can sneak up right behind him. <laughs> I guess we don't have to attack him. We could dance for him first. 
Should we do that? Well, he's looking at us now. He doesn't really seem to care. Oh, well, he moved towards us. But he's not looking at us anymore. Okay, I'm going to drop out of stealth. This may be stupid. I'm going to... Greet the dingo. In bear language. I should be able to talk to other animals. And animal people. That would make sense, right? Maybe? I don't know. But maybe that's what the D was. The giant dingo. Because it is a giant D. I did say that. Um... So maybe I realized that it was a giant dingo track. Uh, okay, so yeah, we were going to try to see if we had room to dance here. Though we probably do not. Let's dance and let's, let's do our berry dance. Not enough room. That's a shame. I bet there is somewhere, though. Do you still see me? Let's try it here. Nope, still not enough room. What if we went right here? I have no idea how much room is required, so I'm just kind of... Remember, this isn't a normal adventure series. This is me trying to figure or show you new stuff and figure out things for myself as well. Okay, well... I just want to sneak just to see which way he's looking and really to attack him sneakily. I do want to make something cool out of giant dingo bone, I think. So let's um, let's give this a shot. If it's the end, we can check some of the new stuff out with a different type of animal character, or maybe just a normal character. Okay, so let's uh, strike the um, crap. Well, we go for lower body. I kind of wanted the neck or head or throat right off the bat, to be honest. Throat's impossible. Uh, let's move slightly and see if we can uh, get a better attack from here neck is a normal strike and square we'll take that okay and we want it to be precise which is not p because that would make too much sense it's x extremely precise and let's do actually this one was an easy attack let's do heavy instead yeah now let's bite Mm, maybe we should have done precise. He broke our grip immediately. He's attacking us with a scratch. Um, we can dodge, so we're not very good at it. Yeah, let's dodge. Let's dodge south. So we're still near him. He's recovering. He's charging northeast and regaining balance at the same time. Well, we're not to the northeast. Uh, we certainly could have charged. I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to attack him here, but let's just try at least to swipe at him. We go for his right rear paw, okay. Yeah. And, uh, oh, we do have the, the sharp rock in our hand. I'm actually kind of curious what that would do so let's do a quick attack. And then... Now well, we bruised his muscle, I guess. Let's see if we can charge him. Hmm. Though... I have a decent chance at the neck. You know, let's just charge into his uh, lower body. <laughs> Let's do a wild attack. Um, we don't have a charge. We're to char I guess there's not enough room. Oh, we're I don't know why. We're also too close to him, potentially. Oh, let scratch him. Okay, we both jumped away. Now maybe we can charge. Nope, because we're not next to him. Oh, I hit that too many times. He's attacking us. Let's dodge. Uh, how about just north? Let's see, there we go. 
Haha, -ha, we jumped away. Well, we can go for the head. Yeah, let's go for the head. Still Oh, char maybe charge was there. I was looking in the wrong place. I was looking up here. Uh classic. Charge attack. And let's uh charging bite. I don't even know what we were attacking. Oh, but we did charge him. Uh, or I guess we bit him in the head while charging. And he fell to the ground. Oh, no. Nope. Okay. I was trying to remember, but that was in fortress mode. Okay, so we're actually right on top of him. He's on the ground, which should be fairly, um, fairly good for us. Where's that throat? D. So let's do a heavy attack, bite the throat. There we go. Now if we wrestle with our teeth. All right, we've opened up an artery in his neck. If we look, his neck and his throat is bleeding quite well. I mean his throat, his head's hurt and various other things. Okay, well, let's just continue to attack. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go for the neck this time and do another quite big bite. I think I remember, I could be wrong, but I think I remember that the throat wasn't necessarily as good as the neck. Tearing apart the fat. We need more. Let's strike his head with this sharp shirt. Bruising the muscle. I wish I could just redo that immediately. See, all we're doing is, oops, I hit the wrong thing. Bruising the muscle. We need to do more. More must be done. Let's, let's work on the lower body. Yeah, okay, so this sharp shirt is not, is probably even as good as our claws. Uh, let's try the same thing on lower body, but this time let's just do a uh, heavy scratch. Yeah, see, now we're tearing muscle and bruising guts. I think that's better than the rock. Though we are a dabbling and miscellaneous object user, or we were. Now we're an adequate, or maybe we we're adequate to begin with. Uh, but we are a competent striker, a skilled biter. Uh, the wrestling is probably part of the shaking around. So if we continue to bite and shake, we might be able to get wrestling up and maybe our shaking will do more damage, which would be quite nice. Um, let's go, um, let's go upper body, maybe do something to like harder lungs that will kill them. Of course, biting the upper body is not quite as easy. Though it may be, it just doesn't seem like it would be in real life. Yeah, we're just tearing apart fat. Let's try one more to the, let's do the head. Heavy bite to the head. I guess we could do wild. Fast, and it's just fast and heavy. I think heavy's better. And multi-attack didn't seem to really work for me, but maybe I can figure out what I was doing wrong. Um, oh, head. So let's, uh, just while we're here, let's bite. Oh, there we go. He bled to death. So they bleed a little quicker to death versus a giraffe, but... Um, very cool. So we have Uth Baseball's corpse. I have no idea what that affectation was it's just wow so he's he was quite big 476 pounds ours whatever it was uh so his name means this is why i was looking here fragment reveres so we killed fragment revere completely unprovoked <laughs> and we're standing in his vomit let's uh let's butcher him up we butchered him up and actually, while we're standing here, because I keep on forgetting, I don't actually have to pick things up.
Well, first, let's, um, you know, what we should do. Let's talk to our DT, which is a giant hoary marmot. And let's greet and then continue talking and brag about our violent acts. And then let's uh, ask for favor. Current choice, change subject back. Okay, goodbye. So we're doing pretty good except for arguing, but we did pray to ask, thank him for our glorious battle. And we also, I think, should immediately can't read it right, but we can compose a choreography. Using the embraces of poetry, because I believe that's one of the dance things that we are skilled in. It'd be funny if uh, he had a mate, or she had a mate, and it came back while we were composing a dance, celebrating our destruction of their spouse now oops what was it called again romantic pebble so if we then look we won't be able to do it here because there's not enough room probably but let's search for a uh, pebble romantic pebble is an example of something that we already know how to do no particular subject that's not true subject is him solo performance dance Okay, very good. Uh, dance performs alongside along the improvised path. It's punctuated by expressive arm carriage. Okay. And we perform slowly to rhythms and stuff, and there's undulating curved walks and body level changes. You can read this on your own time. It's punctuated by understated leaps. I like that. And, of course, um, if there was more, we'd be able to scroll it with this but apparently oh text uh, there we go and how does it end it's punctuated by refined hand gestures okay and actually i'm a little curious uh we have no room here but let's uh <laughs> i was actually there and i hit an escape uh, pebbles fruity pebbles not enough room okay but we commemorated it, and now let's carve bone. A figurine. Oh, oh, cool, cool, cool. We can choose what we're going to engrave in it. This is awesome. Related to a site, civilization, or other group, existing image, which we don't have right now. We specify a new image, a creature action or relationship okay creature i forget what this guy's name was uh, ooh, ooh something ooh. nope okay yes i want to completely go out of here and look at ust baseball ustba forget that by the time I can get there. Quick, 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 quick. I guess it kind of is a historical figure. Let's see if we can find it here. Who? S. T. B. A. <laughs> e. There it is. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. Its name is being is, is a buzzard. No, it's not. It's a giant dingo. So we made a figurine of the giant dingo we just killed. And it's not too shabby. We're still just a, a kind of dabbling though when it comes to our abilities. We're learning. We're just a bear. Let's make a, uh, a ring. I'm gonna make one of everything just because I'm curious if we can uh, be more specific with more things. So it looks like jewelry, we're not really getting the option to um, we know this this scepter didn't allow us to do it before either, but we'll make one anyways because we have plenty of bone here. 
amulet. We're just kind of basically honing our craft. Bracelet. And hopefully we'll find something cool, but it's looking like uh, that's pretty much it. And then last but not least, as we looked up once before, a cabochon. Okay. Let's do one more figurine and kind of look at some of the stuff that we can we can put on it. You know what? Let's let's let our mind wander. Let's see what we make. A forgotten beast. I want to see that. Um, that was a figurine. A forgotten beast, Jay. Uh, the item is an image of a forgotten beast and giant dingo bone by Bobo. Okay, so we don't have anything about what Forgotten Beast it was. I guess it was Forgotten. Uh, what else do we have? That might be about it, but for kind of cool stuff. So we can specify specific images, an existing image. So we have here, um, oh. Okay, so we got more information on that, or we never looked at it. I guess we never looked at it, but it's a finely designed image of the dingo we just killed and humans. He's surrounded by the humans and it relates to the rise of the giant. I guess we ran out of stuff. But yeah, let's make a figurine about the figurine. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at our inventory real quick. I apologize if you don't find this as fascinating as I do. So there's B. I believe this is the one that we were reading about. Yeah, so the art likes the rise of the giant dingo fragment reveres as an enemy of the deep band of purity. So if we go to the deep band of purity, uh, they may be quite glad that we killed him. Now, where's the other one? So it's not quite as nicely. And we're holding these all in our hands somehow. Uh, remember the... Not remember, but you saw the little drawing I made for the for the thumbnails for these videos. That is our Bobo, and he's holding the first scepter we made and the sharp rock in the other hand, and and showing them to as the giant hoary marmot in the sky. Okay, so this one is um, giant dingo bone figurine of the giant dingo that we killed. It's basically a copy. Okay. At least that's what I'm gonna say. Oh wow, our our, uh, our bracelet was quite nice. Let's look at that. Exceptional giant dingo bone bracelet. No, nothing specific in it, but okay. Well, let's um, continue. We got eight more bones. I liked how we could let our mind wander. There we go. I was hoping we get one from of our. Uh, DT as and uh, just to look at that real quick because it, it's actually in pretty good quality as well superior quality giant dingo bone figurine of as uh, the deity of mountains and a giant female hoary marmot uh, and that's about it it's just it uh, as she is in a striking and triumphant pose and let's see what more we can do stop it already so we have side civilizations or other groups um, we can specify a particular image so we can do creatures historical figures um, objects artifacts so i guess here we can make one um, about uh, particular objects i guess it's just of random or not random but less specific objects so if we like try to filter for um no maybe not because we do our how what was um i forgot what the giant dingo's name was already something b-a-e <laughs> but i think you have to know the first part okay and artifact we don't know of any of these artifacts but there you go. I think this gives you an idea of what can be done. Um, can we do one of ourselves? Is Bobo in here somewhere? Oh, it could help if I could 
type. Yes. <laughs> no, we are not a buzzard. So we have an image in there. Action or relationship. God, oh, there is much more that we can do here. I knew it was worth... Ah, oh, dang it, it's been 40 minutes. Um, but I think it was worth uh, looking into this so deeply, at least for myself. X is praying. So Bobo is praying. Um, can't say who to. Uh, blank looks offended. Okay, so... What we could do is we could add in Nope. Where do I want to be? Circle figure? Just just as. I found it earlier. That is so odd. I don't remember where I was. But we can... Uh, it was an artifact. It was an object. It was. And a as. I don't know how much I like that, but basically it was kind of the concept of uh, then do that and then um... oh there we go. Bobo is admiring the as. <laughs> this would have been better if it was, uh... and then we could say the as is um... well. Confusing what was confused was on here earlier. There we go. As looks confused. So, we're making a figurine of us praying. Uh, we're admiring as, and it looks confused. I like it. I don't know how to continue on from here. Done. Why? Okay. Excellent. And we can change name. I guess this is the name, Tempest of Continents. So, we can change... Um, it to, you know, you, you know, it can be changed. This has gone on way too long already. Uh, so we'll just be done with that. And then of course I was in decent figurine, but of course we need to look at it again now that we've done it. Um, so that would be M description. So it's finally crafted and there, as we already mentioned, the ass looks confused. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying just seeing some of the new stuff uh, being demonstrated for you. Uh, I still want to find a cave, and I still want to find a tavern and maybe try to get a dancing troupe going. So I'm going to keep playing, I think, for today because I'm doing pretty well so far enjoying this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.